we are joined by my FSS AVF, Michaela McAllister! <laughs> So, Michaela, the buzz is you've got something shocking to show us. That's right. We're talking static electricity. As they say, two heads are better than one. <laughs> static electricity is what happens when you walk on a carpet, touch a doorknob, and generate a spark. Ouch. You're generating an imbalance between negative and positive electrical charges, which can become a hair-raising experience. <laughs> Audience, you decide. Does this look totally current or like a super bad hair day? How's that 12 o'clock? Mm -hmm. I should talk to him about Michaela. Are you loca? It's a recipe for disaster. And I know my recipes. I'm just going to ask if he's taking Hannah to the dance. <sighs> okay, I support you, Chica. But let the record show, if this goes badly, I was home sick today. Hmm? Hey, Kyle, how's it going? Hey, Cam, what's up? Well, I was just wondering if you were taking anyone to the dance. Like, off the top of my head, say Hannah? No. That's great, uh, because, see, I have this friend. Oh, and this friend wants to ask me? Yes, but she's a little shy, and she's afraid what your answer would be. Well, you can tell your friend that I would say yes. Great, she'll be happy to hear that. Uh, just to be clear, you don't mean you, right? Oh, no, no, not me. I don't want to go with you. Um, I, I mean, not that I wouldn't go with you, because you wouldn't be a bad choice for someone if they wanted to ask them to go as friends. Hey, you know, it's okay. I definitely wouldn't ask you either. Um, well, that's, that's not uh, what I meant. It, it's just that I'm not uh, interested in, uh, even though there's no reason why someone or I wouldn't ask you, because uh, who wouldn't be interested in you or ask you, uh, including me? Exactly, and I'd say yes, because I wouldn't say no, because there would be no reason why someone like me wouldn't want to go with someone like you, right? Uh, uh, wait, so does this mean we're Going to, together, um... I guess so. Okay. Well, I will meet you there. So, I'm going to the dance with Kyle. K? And not K like okay, but K as in what? How did this happen? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to make a graph. Uh, Ember? Hello? Wow, this place is amazing. One minute, we're in the lab. In un instante, we're in the jungle. A scary jungle. <gasps> Emoji wide eyes, open mouth face. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to my Emberarium. Oh, don't y'all worry about Horace. He's all bark, no bite. He is a Venus flytrap, but he's got a very sensitive stomach. Last time he sucked in a bug, he was sick for a week. This is Priscilla and Lady Hallengate. Uh-oh, do I gotta separate you two? Embryoph to Embryophsida are having some personal issues. So, regarding the three T mineral thefts, as you may or may not know, so much of our technology and electronics rely on three Ts because they're able to pack high capacitance into very small volumes. She means the ability of a system to store an electric charge. That's what I said. For instance, our tablets, phones, laptops, video cameras all contain tantalum, which allows the circuitry to function smoothly. And tungsten's used on everything from cell phones to laptop screens to light bulbs. So you can see why they're so valuable. That could be the motive behind the stolen shipments. Ember, you sure know a lot about earth sciences. I know all about what makes up Mother Earth. Minerals are children, too. Anyway, the problem is that in some countries around the world, like the Congo and Africa, these same three Ts are called conflict minerals, meaning the money from the mines where the minerals are found and later sold are used for warfare, which puts these poor miners and their families in incredible danger, which really rolls my socks up, if you know what I mean. Sure. Roll rolls your, your socks? socks? No idea. 
I'm just so glad I'm a part of this team now. Mark my words, we'll find those three tea thieves and make them disappear. Um, we don't really disappear, people. Okay, find those guys, hog tie them up and make them beg for mercy. Don't really do that either. Find those guys and call the police. Can't we vault? I always wanted to tie a hog. <laughs> We need intel on the port security vulnerabilities. You two look inside the warehouse and I'll do recon around the perimeter. Recon? Intel? Perimeter? There's so much mysterious lingo, it's practically another language. <laughs> hey, get a move on, sailor. He's not a sailor. I'm improvising on the not thing. I like it. Those bananas need to be exposed to ethylene, caballeros. Maybe you can get them to the ripening room? Sometime today? Did you know the banana plant is the largest herbaceous flowering plant, often, often mistaken, mistaken for trees? trees. Oh, look at us! Fondy over banana! <laughs> Oh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, taste testers! Hurry up and drink this while it's still ever resting in liquid form. Really think she could help us? Duh. Remember her exploding cream puffs from the science fair? She could whip up anything. I'm calling it Adri's pink drink. Safety first. Careful, I don't want curiosity to kill the can. Hmm. Tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough and a glass of milk. Pass. I just whiten my teeth. It's a secret recipe passed down from my grandma. She's known as the best culinary chemist in Spain. Culinary chemist? That's a thing? Yes, of course it is. Adri, do you want to help us with a top secret investigation? Secret investigation? You mean like, Mission Impossible? Uh, yeah, like Mission Impossible. Oh, I love those movies! When I was little, I used to watch them all the time. I even told my parents I wanted to work for the Centro Nacional de Inteligencia. It's like the CIA in Spain. Know anything about lifting fingerprints? Hmm. $1.5 million, an exorbitant amount of money by any account for a vacation. But for Prince Xander of Canterbury, known throughout social media as the Brillionaire Prince, it's another extreme stunt that has him yet again in the international spotlight. It's totally awesome! As the impending launch looms, the Prince appears ever more carefree about the possible mortal danger. Now's their chance. <sighs> I'm so sorry, I didn't see your petite little feet there. We haven't met! I'm Adrian Adams. Adrian, wanna do lunch sometime? I'm such a foodie. I know all the fanciest places to eat in this town. There's like two, but they're fabulous. again. Can't seem to hold on to my supplies around you. Weird, huh? Uh, that's my pen. Uh, you don't want this pen. It got sticky from the sticky ground. But I like sticky things. Sticky glue, sticky notes, sticky rice, sticky tape, sticky sticks. <laughs> uh, so here, take mine. Um, Okay. Dr. Crawford, I'm Federal Agent DeFazio. This is Agent Feeney. 
We have some questions about the recent break-in here at Space Inc. And the whereabouts of one of your employees who may be a possible suspect. Certainly. Uh, I'm sorry, but you both seem awfully young to be federal agents. We're a part of the New Youth Government Task Force, ma'am. That's all we could say for now. Feel free to call this number at the Bureau. Should put your mind at ease. Actually, I have a contact there myself. Agent Dale Cooper, if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. Cooper's a good man. Just make it quick. Our nation's security is at risk. I'm sure you understand. Five, 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 seven, seven, four, three. Got it! We're in! And we control the phone line. Voice altering app ready? You're all set! Special Agent Cooper's office. Why can the British accent? You want it official? Everything sounds official in England. Yes. This is Dr. Allison Crawford at Space Inc. I need authorization from Agent Cooper regarding to... Agent Cooper's in a high-level security meeting right now. Wants to confirm Agents DeFazio and Feeney have arrived. They have. <laughs> Professor Cato did tell me the prototype could be very dangerous, but I can't believe he'd try and steal it. That's why his disappearance is a cause for concern. If he's innocent, he's got nothing to hide. But in the wrong hands, the research could be used as a weapon, making its owner very powerful. If the professor contacts you, you'll let us know? Of course. One more thing. We've learned Olivia James is coming to Space Inc. to improve the menu for mission to Mars. Uh, yes. Is she a suspect? Not at the moment. But do you have any idea what type of culinary delight she may enjoy? We're through here. It was worth a shot. These wires simulate the feeling of being in low gravity. Ember and Tessa will be practicing the bunny hop, the slow motion jog, and the side to side. All of these maneuvers were used by our Apollo astronauts for their walk on the moon. Whoa! Uh oh! <laughs> Dude, that right there is why Neil Armstrong called it one small step for man. You're getting it, Tessa. Come on, girl. Follow my lead. Excellent. And that right there is why we can now call it one giant leap for womankind. Son, you just got school.